going on this Ryu V pressure washer. And what had happened is over the winter, at some point, it broke this suction valve that's for your detergent off of this. I don't know if I bumped it during the winter or what, but when you plug water into it, it just shoots out because there's no uh, spring or ball in there that keeps it closed off. So what we're gonna do is get this centerpiece off the wheel. What we can do, you see there's this gap behind the axle. Come back here, we'll stick you a screwdriver or something long enough to go back here and hit it. And we'll just simply take a hammer, tap it until that black cap comes off so we can remove the wheel. All right, guys, so the wheel's off. Uh, there's that cap. Like I said, you can just hammer right through the back of it and get it pushed out. You see those little ears is what's grabbing onto it, so it is on there pretty tough. So here's that piece. That's the inside of the brass that's broke off in there. I just have a cheap extractor set that I got off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. And what I'm going to do is I got this one right here. It's a quarter inch. And the reason I got it is because it fits down inside there without having to do any drilling. So you see, just like that, it backed that piece right out. Now down inside there, we'll double check and see, because this initially had a little gasket on it. All right, now that I got it cleaned out, here's the part number. I'll also put the link in the description for this. Both of them I got off Amazon. So each kit's gonna come with your new valve, bottom O-ring, that goes right there. Top of a ring, it goes on up here. And then the ball valve, it'll go inside with the spring. All right, guys, so this is how we're going to assemble it. You've got your main O-ring that's going to go right there that's going to seal it off. And then we'll put this guy down inside of it. Which, what that'll do is seal off the ball valve. And it's hard to see down in there. Or got it, but it goes down in there and sits flush. You can see it there. And then we're just gonna drop the ball in. Okay, so with the ball down in there, then the spring on top of it, we'll go ahead and take some Teflon tape and do a, a wrap around the threads. And then it's gonna take a 13 millimeter to thread this guy into that hole. So I basically thread that down in there until I can't with my hand anymore, and then tighten it an eighth of a turn past that. So basically it went snug, and then I done an eighth of a turn past it, and that's good and seeded. You don't want to go too much further, you strip that brass out. But there, you can kind of see the ball down inside there. So that's good. Now our next thing is, you gotta get the wheel and the cap back on. So what I'm gonna do here, is I kind of bent that out a little bit. You'll see, I'm gonna fold it back in and make sure my tabs are knocked out. So as I hit it back on, it will uh, grab the metal real good and keep that wheel nice and tight. All right, guys, I went in, bent the ears just a little bit back out. Now what we'll do, go ahead and put this wheel back on. We'll grab this guy and get it started. And what I'm gonna do is, well, I have to use two hands, but a 15 millimeter socket will fit nicely down over it. And then you can just simply hammer it on until it's flush against the wheel and your wheel won't bounce back and forth. All right guys, the wheel's on. Next thing, just go put some water to it and try it out. So if you would, go and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Mustang Jackson 67 And until next time, let's keep building.